does your rabbit need veterinary care? The answer to that question is yes. We now have good, skilled, rabbit-savvy vets in various areas of the country, and it's really a good idea to have your rabbit visit those vets or visit one of those vets for what we call a well bunny visit. What does a well bunny visit do for you? Go Any on. idea? I'm oh, hand every word. Ears, right? A well bunny visit allows your vet to see the bunny when he's not sick, so your vet can see what's normal for your bunny. His normal behavior, how he feels, his various body parts, how they feel, um, how his belly feels when he's healthy. We encourage owners to do this about once a year. Just go to the vet, let the vet have a hands-on visit with your rabbit, and write up a record so that when you do have a problem, if you have a problem, the vet will know what was normal for your bunny and will have a good point of comparison. And how do you know if it's a good, because a lot of times they say exotic animals, and that means, you know, parrots, rabbits, whatever, but sometimes they don't really know anything about rabbits. So yeah, and know? interestingly enough, uh, the word specialist is regulated by the American Veterinary Medical Association. Veterinarians are not allowed to call themselves specialists unless they go through certain kinds of training. There is no such thing as a straight rabbit specialist. Mm -hmm. So when people come and, and say, well, I went to a rabbit specialist and now my rabbit is sicker than before. I always say, well, did the vet tell you that he or she was a rabbit specialist? Well, that's what the front desk said. So you have to be really careful. There's no such thing as a rabbit specialist. There are vets who have taken special training after vet school, continuing education workshops or courses to learn about rabbits, and that's terrific. That's what you want. And when you want to find a rabbit vet, the best thing you can do, well, one of the best things you can do is to go online and look for the Association of Exotic Mammal Veterinarians, and it's abbreviated AEMV. At their website, they have a list of veterinarians who like seeing various species, whether they're specialists or not. And by calling around, you're likely to find a vet in your area that has substantial experience with rabbits. You have to ask, though. If you have a rabbit rescue organization in your area, that's a great way to find mm -hmm. a rabbit vet because mm -hmm. those people are bringing in rabbits all the time. And they'll know what vets are best at what, and they'll, uh, they'll steer you accordingly. Some vets are really terrific at rabbit tooth problems, for example, and they'll mm -hmm. send you to those vets. Others are good at rabbit gut problems. Some are good at everything. Um, those vets are hard to find, but they're around and they should be looked for. So yeah, uh, find yourself a good rabbit vet and make sure you visit that rabbit vet about once a year. You don't need to do it more than that. Unless they're elderly and they need to go twice a year. Well yeah, once they're elderly, they're already at a stage in their life like humans where you do want to go more often. You want to have a checkup more often. There's real value when the vet tries to to ask you to have things done, for example, a lot of people resent that and they say, oh, he was trying to get money out of me because he tried to tell me I needed a blood test done on my rabbit. That's not something the vet is trying to get money out of you for. If the vet takes a blood test from a healthy rabbit, it's fantastic information because now the vet has a series of normals. And if anything varies from that at a later date, the vet can look back and say, well, on this date, your rabbit's kidney values were this and now they're this. And that's really useful information to have if you're treating a sick rabbit. So, you know, do go in for a well bunny visit. Let your vet and don't do wait till last minute. And don't wait Just till get last it when you get the rabbit and get it over with. Don't wait till there's an emergency and you're freaking out and then you'll call anybody. So. And if you're willing to spend the money, and this is not an excessive amount, you might want to try, if you're lucky enough to have several rabbit vets in your area, you might want to spend the money for a visit to two or three different rabbit vets and just see which one is going to work best with you and with your rabbit. There's a real difference in personalities from vet to vet and some people will go in one direction, some will go in another direction. So it's, it's worth, worth the expenditure, worth the investment. <laughs>